What's up, fellas? We're back out here at White Sands, and we got an R&D video for you today. After several days of failure, we finally came up with this bad boy right here. Here are some relics from the testing required to get us to this point. And man, is this thing awesome. What's up, fellas? I gotta test this uh, Ventura again today. We're gonna turn this Ventura into a burner. I built this thing when I was about four years old, from the looks of it. I used to be a carpenter, so I was not a welder when I first got into this gig. This is one of the first Venturas I ever built. You can see we have a blower going into the side, and it creates quite the vacuum on this side of the unit. And the reason I like that is I'm getting ready to build a natural gas burner. And one of the problems with natural gas is it's supplied at about one to two PSI. So if I have a two inch supply line and I'm only getting one PSI of pressure and my blower is supplying back pressure, you can restrict the amount of gas that's available. But by putting it under vacuum, your performance has increased drastically. Okay, so that's kind of what we got here. we are going to turn this Ventura into a burner. Now I did this about five years ago, as you can see from the discoloration where I burnt the paint. Actually, it was probably longer than five years ago, maybe 10 years ago. There's a video of this being turned into a burner, but I need to take another look at it because I'm gonna build a better one out of stainless steel. This was meant to pump hot exhaust gases. It was never meant to be a burner. I just got the wild idea to hook a flame up to it one day, and I was so impressed with the stability of this thing. So let's take a look, because a similar configuration is going to be used on a job that I have coming up. I have to build a very special burner that runs on natural gas. This right here is my uh, concrete jet engine that we've seen running a while back. Something like this would be ideal for a job like that. The problem is you can't run this on natural gas because the back pressure in the chamber can reach one PSI. Bit of a problem there. So here is what we were looking at. You see, this is a poorly designed plenum. That's the worst plenum I've ever seen in my life. I really didn't know what the hell I was doing back then, which is a good thing. If it worked this well, poorly designed, we ought to see some astounding performance. So basically this pipe simply fed this tiny plenum that you see. There was a secondary air chamber here that air from the blower was blowing through this thin slit and coming out this way, making a cone right here, causing a vacuum in this chamber here. set back up I have the new Ventura box in place I'm a little worried about the aerodynamics of this thing a phenomenon that I've seen before is happening where the air is blowing out of here and it's turning this way and it's following this path for now let's just take a look at vacuum performance this freaking thing is driving me nuts it won't stay on zero
We were only getting point four last time. got some propane hooked up here this isn't gonna go well I don't even know why I'm bothering at this point I'm a little disappointed but what the heck we're gonna do it anyway it ain't so bad it's got some fantastic stability in there That's too long. We'll see how this does. Fifty degrees in here. So, all right, we're going to do one last test on this particular design. And I had an idea last night when I was going to sleep to let secondary mixing air into this chamber because there's such a high vacuum. I think it's possible, and it did have an improvement impact on performance. So, this is just a gate valve. Guys, what you're looking at right here is a deep dish flame wall or a flame holder. 
That's going to hold our flame inside the front of the combustion chamber here. We have a medium velocity nozzle on this. This is not a high velocity nozzle. We could go more restricted, but remember we're running on natural gas here. I can't afford a lot of back pressure in the system or else our one to two PSI gas pressure input might not be sufficient to Dude, push enough crazy. gas into the burner at higher operating ranges. This thing does have a slight bit of asymmetry to it. Not enough that I'm gonna get concerned at all. This is just a test can. I'm gonna build a more robust unit. You get to watch me set myself on fire here in a second. There we go. Nice little lick. Don't worry though, I had my OSHA 30 card in my pocket, everything was just fine. So, we're good to go over here. I'm uh, well equipped to get a little bit of singeing going on there. Didn't even really feel any pain there. It was just a, whoa, you might want to get out of the area type situation. So I got lucky there. As you can see, we have some back pressure. This is not like the other nozzles. The Ventura is not pulling a very strong vacuum in this case, so we're going to hook a pressure gauge up to it. And I would imagine it's at a positive pressure right now quite a bit, but that's not the end of the world. This is how much gas we're actually burning here. The stability of this thing is incredible. Look at this. I just turned the blower up lickety split, and the fact that it didn't blow this thing out speaks volumes. Very stable little combustor. See here, we got somebody showing up at the house. I got a jet engine going in the driveway. Uh, nonetheless, this is the design we're going to go with. We're going to improve it. We're going to make that flame holder have a couple more holes in it. I might do the swirl. I'm not a big fan of the swirl. We're not doing liquid fuel here. We're not trying to keep liquid fuel from hitting the wall. So that's the only reason they use the swirl in most cases. This looks pretty good as is. As I said, this is a medium velocity nozzle, not necessarily a high velocity nozzle. I don't want too high of a velocity. We're going to be melting some brass with this burner as its purpose. And I think this is the design we're going to go with. This thing has got a huge turndown ratio, plenty of power if we get into trouble. I think this is the way to go. And it doesn't even look like we're going to need a refractory on this thing. So I'm very pleased with that. My main concern right now is when I get a pressure gauge hooked up to this, do we have more than one PSI of back pressure? That's the large amount of fuel that we're burning there. Probably about 800,000 BTU. I'll have to double check that. I think that's about right. So yeah, man, this thing is incredible. I got real lucky. But boy, it did take a long time. You're looking at about 30 hours of R&D here, guys. So this is the end result. We're going to put a pressure uh, monitor on here and see if it's going to even work on natural gas. This particular design configuration might not work on natural gas. And here are some of the relics of all of our labors. So there we go, fellas.